aquí solamente con verla sabéis de qué equipo se trata, con el que estamos o el que estamos acompañando. Efectivamente es el Saxo Bank, a pesar de que el año pasado corrían con las Cervelo y ya nos estamos acostumbrando a verles con estas maravillosas máquinas de Special Ice y también con los sillines por luego que el año pasado también eh, dieron su confianza a este equipo. Y estamos aquí a apenas un día de que comience la Mina San Remo, la edición número 100, que viene marcada en este equipo sobre todo por la ausencia de Fabián Cancelara y también la de Frank Schleck, que se cayó ayer en un entrenamiento y por ello se ha visto obligado a venir a última hora su hermano Andy Schleck, al que tenemos aquí precisamente, con el que vamos a hablar sobre todo especialmente del Tour de Francia, él no entiende castellano, pero seguro que podemos entendernos en inglés y todos vosotros eh, podéis entendernos. Good afternoon, Andy. Good afternoon. Nice to meet you and uh, greet from, from Spain, from Spain, from the Fitness Mofondo, the Spanish yeah. uh, Cycling Magazine. How are the first feelings of the season for you? Um, actually, I'm not feeling really good. Uh, I had some problems in the beginning of the season in the training camp. I had problems uh, with my knee and with my tendons, but uh, yeah. I'm really optimistic. I think the problems are solved now, and I can uh, go from the gun. And uh, yeah, for this, my next strategy is uh, actually yeah, play Basque, and then I go to the classics, which hopefully will be fun. The first thing will be the Paris Basque and the classics of the law. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And. Pais Vasco, especially because we are uh, Spanish, will be your first thing. And do you think that you will be, you can win in Pais Vasco? I will not say I will win, but uh, I mean, I hope I'm in a good shape. And I mean, it's a hard race. It's one of, for me. It's one of the hardest races in the year. If Pais Vasco, it's uh, more or less a little bit the same than than Tour Swiss. So it's about in the mountains and uh, just in Pais Vasco, uh, you, know, you know, it's. It's normally it's a little rain, and but sometimes I like that, and I hope I can show uh, a little bit something there. Who will be the the maximum rate of seeing that race in Paris-Bastogne? I mean, we're talking more or less about the same guys. That would be for sure Contador. I mean, it's kind of his uh, his race. He won it already twice, and then uh, oh, my brother will be good shape, and I hope me too. After that, you have to see. I don't know really who will going to do the race, but they're always more or less the same guys, Sanchez and Tom. Then we will see an interesting race. With the pace that they endure of your brother, do you think that he can be in Paris Basque and the North Classic? Yes, um, definitely. I mean, as you heard, he had the crash yesterday, uh, two days ago. He's uh, got stitches here, and his hand is uh, mm -hmm. not too good. But uh, he was training with me a little bit yesterday, and. He's optimistic. He said he cannot do, uh, not be here tomorrow, but sometimes like that, they cannot, uh, cannot do anything. And then, what uh, are important the, the not classics for you? I mean, Liège and Amsterdam is one of my first goals of the year. Of course, my biggest goal is with the Tour de France, and but right now I'm training for the classics. Yes. When will you, will you see you? After after the classics of North and before the Tour de France. San Sebastian. Uh, That's after the Tour. Um, ah, after the classics. Yeah, sorry. In, in June. I will have a smaller break after the classics and then uh, training camp in the Alps. After the Tour of Luxembourg and it's all switch the Tour. Then San Sebastian. Mm -hmm. And then I hope we see it. if I come good out of the Tour and. Um, I'm not too broke. I'm going to do one study in Vuelta and then hopefully do a, as a good preparation for the World Championship. Mm -hmm. Talking about the Tour de France, what do you think about the stages? The Tour this year is special. Eh? It's, uh, you cannot be, you have to be 100% the first day and you have to be 100% on more one two. So, it causes a lot of, uh, lot of training before. I have to be mental stable. I mean, to keep it up for uh, three weeks. And that's, I think, the most difficult part. Your body can do it, but you have, you have to have the head too. It's possible to win, you or, uh, or your, well, your brother, Frank? I mean, we're not going there to just finish it. We go there to do something, and why not? Last year we, we, we saw you very good. At, yeah. After the fans. I had uh, one bad day last year, but. I mean, everybody can have a bad day. We've seen it with Contador in Pyrenees, we've seen it with other riders in the past. 
but um, yeah, you have to be. I mean, I learned a lot from that day, and uh, it won't happen to me again. I think. The leader of the saxophone will be his brother. Yeah, no, me. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, him and me. Mm -hmm. What will you exactly aim in the race? Little. If I. Supporting uh, yes. your brother only or? I think we go him and me we go there to, to the overall and in the end we have to see who's who's, who's best in the classroom and that it was him maybe this year to me. But then I think we will be a good team in the tour this year and uh, maybe this year still I'm gonna be more there for him and maybe next year he can for you? Who is the maximum power for winning the, the yellow jersey? Um, definitely, I think that's Sandra Dorf. On the paper, he's a strong guy right now. But it's a long way uh, to the tour. But we have seen him in the past. But um, yeah, we're not sleeping either. <laughs> Do you think that he can understand the pressure of being with Lance Armstrong? Uh, yes, I mean, right now it's still uh, there's a lot of talking going on. Lance is in a good shape, he will be good tomorrow, he will be good in the table, but then he haven't won yet. Contador have won already a lot this year, and uh, right now it's in the strongest, and uh, I think they won't have a problem, it's no problem of pressure, I think. We decided on the road. Do you think that the leader of the stand is Alberto Contador or Nancy? Uh, right now it's uh, Contador, I think. <laughs> yes. And um, what do you think about his return in general? Well, first, a lot of respect for him. Um, after two and a half years basically no racing and he's going back and he's actually competing in the in the front, he's not just driving the race, he's doing the race. He's been serving in California, he's been good in Down Under and a uh, lot of respect and I think it's great for cycling. He, until now he was the, he's the, there was no one uh, there like him before. He won seven tours and I think if someone like that comes back to cycling, it really gives a lot to us. Uh, I think it's good. So this is the saddle um, I'm actually using this year. You see my uh, country flag, a little uh, extra. The model is a Stretch uh, TR Pro. The good thing about this saddle is uh, we have a different um, activity dancing. And uh, well basically that means hard, soft, soft and more soft. It makes the riding uh, really uh, much more comfortable than if it's the same. We have seen a lot of improvement last year. On the back we see the here we call this uh, fish bone, which um, yeah even make it make it uh, more soft and more uh, more stretch on, on, on that face. Then um, yeah we see uh, different to last year. They made the, the nose uh, here smaller and uh, longer, so actually basically have more uh, more place to more place to pedal your legs and um, a good uh, sitting in the back, comfortable sitting.